This is an overview of the um, Frankenstein build that I did. Uh, basically consists of using a 2853 um, quarter inch impact driver and using a half inch M12 stubby impact wrench anvil to um, install it onto the the uh, the driver and essentially make a really ultra compact half inch impact wrench M18 impact wrench. This is actually sm uh, shorter in length than uh, their new M18 compact wrench, which I think measures 4.9 inches long. I think this one is more like 4.4. I think it's essentially half inch shorter. So really ultra compact. Um, the way this was completed was to obviously split the shells, remove the gear case, uh, remove the quarter inch collet, and I had to hollow out the uh, the hole where the anvil fits into. Um, I think I hollowed the hole out about 600, 665 thousandths of an inch since the anvil measures about 660 in diameter. That leaves about a 5 thou gap where you know it allows for tolerance stack ups and all that stuff um and that's it you know there isn't anything else to it i got this idea from man caver tools he had he i think he initially came up with this he did mention he drilled out or used the dremel to hollow out the uh the hole here i tried using a a uh, 5 8 or 625 thou drill bit to hollow out the housing using a drill press and that resulted in a hole that was off center. Um, I tried to use basically eyesight to align everything and it ended up drilling it off center which is not good especially since everything all the assembly here is all based on a solid center line essentially. There isn't much play throughout. So I had to go and see a, a buddy of mine with a lathe and hollow out the uh, the diameter back into center to the appropriate diameter. And uh, it worked out. Now I have myself a relatively powerful and really technically the most compact impact wrench, M18 impact wrench that Milwaukee offers with plenty of power. I think the torque test channel did a test with using Man Caver Tools' um, Frankenstein build against the M18 compact, Gen 2 compact wrench, and the regular quarter inch 2853 impact driver with a uh, DeWalt half inch adapter, which made it obviously super long. And I'm pretty sure that this one beat both the other one, the other ones in, in loosening torque and maybe fastening torque as well. So this thing is a beast. I look forward to using it. I haven't uh, played with it. I just finished putting it together. And as you can see, it, uh, it works great. I remember Man Caver's tool did mention that he was using a, um, I think it was maybe an anvil off of an M18 tool, a half inch anvil off an M18 tool or something like that. And he had a lot of play on the nose. And some have commented that um, whether that play still exists. This is obviously, again, this is using the M18 stubby anvil right off of a tool itself. I didn't buy this separately. And uh, there is no play to be seen at all. It's tight, it's on there. So this is the best you're gonna get, I feel.
yeah, I look forward to using it. Should be a good unit to, to work on cars.